Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about stocking stuffers for the holidays. Stockings were my absolute favorite part of Christmas morning as a kid growing up. I loved digging through my stocking. I think the saying, you know, good things come in small packages was absolutely true for me because my stocking is where I got all my makeup and my lip gloss and my jewelry. So I really want to bring that tradition over to my son. I know he's a little bit too young to understand it, but I still just like the idea of stocking stuffers so he's 15 months old this year and so I figured well you know what since I'm doing that for my son I'm also gonna do that for my husband so I picked up a few little things for my husband as well he's very very hard to shop for <laughs> so this might give you some ideas I don't know if you do stockings for your spouse or not or maybe you just are looking for tiny gifts for somebody okay let's start out with the baby stocking stuffers babies are so easy to buy for I think little tiny babies would be even easier to buy for because you could buy like teething rings and you know stuff like that so Lincoln's at the age where he's not hard to buy for it's more like toys you know what I mean and he already has so much that I didn't want to buy a ton of toys I tried to get kind of unique things for him so the first thing I found at World Market World Market has a ton of really good stocking stuffers for little kids and adults they have a lot of food and I feel like if you're having trouble thinking of a gift for anybody, food is always a really good route because even if it's something that they've already had before, chances are they don't have that food at that moment. And World Market has stuff from all over the world, so they have unique stuff. They also have a lot of cool advent calendars too, which I know it's probably too late for that. But anyways, I was there buying some stuff and I saw this at the register and Lincoln was with me and he grabbed it and he loved it. It's just this like light up wand thingy that you like tap and it lights up stuff like this he is a typical boy he's all over the place he's running he's banging on things he's climbing all over things but this is something that can keep him company this would be a good like car seat toy or stroller toy something like that books are always a really good option for little kids so I did want to put a book in his stocking this is the wheels on the bus I love these cardboard like block not block um, I guess cardboard is what you would call them cardboard books <laughs> they're just a little bit more sturdy for his age he is tearing things he loves books he loves to like on his own kind of flip through books and, and play with them himself he doesn't love when I read him books right now he closes the book and kind of like fusses so he's at the like don't read to me mom but he likes to play with them himself so Cardboard books like this are really good and the wheels on the bus we actually did not have yet So this one's a little bit on the bigger side, but our stockings are pretty big So I think I'll be able to squeeze it in there. This is from Melissa and Doug and they're magnetic letters So he hasn't really gotten into magnets yet But we did just get him a play kitchen and there's a magnetic chalkboard on it So I figured we can use this to write things on the chalkboard as opposed to actual chalk I did get him a pack of actual chalk, which I don't have here but that's for his stocking as well just from Target it was like two bucks I bought um, but I thought this would be kind of fun for him to to otherwise play with his chalkboard um, until he's ready for the actual chalk or we can play with them on our refrigerator so he loves running around the kitchen while I'm cooking especially breakfast time so I thought maybe this would be kind of fun for him I don't know it says age is three plus but we'll see how he does with it but yeah they're just magnetic letters from Melissa and Doug I do think it's always fun to throw some sort of candy or food in stockings he's a little bit too young for candy but I found these Pepperidge Farm gingerbread minis from Target Target has a lot of good uh, like edible candy stocking stuffers in their Christmas section this year it's like a whole wall they have little teeny Nutella jars which I thought was really cute um, but yeah, this is something that's definitely, you know, 15 month old appropriate. They're just little cookies or crackers. They're little cookies. Okay, the last thing I got him, I'm actually just noticing it says ages six plus on it. So I'm going to have to watch him closely when we use this, make sure he doesn't eat it. But it's by the brand Crayola and I got this at the Target dollar spot. So it was only like a dollar. This is their whipped soap in the Granny Smith apple scent. And it's sealed. So I... I don't want to open it. I've actually never played with these before. I don't even, I didn't know it was a thing. I saw it and I was like, oh, that's cool. Lincoln might like that. But I'm pretty sure it's colored soap, basically. 
So we'll have to see how that goes with a 15 month old. I guess I just have to make sure he doesn't eat it. I do think they have like shower gel that's like paint that they can use to like paint all over the tub. I think that would be really cute too, but I couldn't find it. So this was like my second best. Okay, well I had to get up to grab the last thing. So I just grabbed the chalk too, so you guys can see that's for his stocking. And then the last thing I got for him are these little deer foam slippers. He actually had a pair of these last year also but they're too small for him now he's a baby you know so he grows pretty dang fast so i have a pair that says mama bear my husband has a pair that says papa bear and he has a baby bear these are a little bit different colored than our slippers from last year but i think it'll be i think it'll be fine he probably won't know any better so these are in the 9 to 12 month size but he has little feet he wears size 4 so i think these should do and I probably should give these to him before Christmas but they were bought with the intent of like being a stocking stuffer okay now let's talk about stocking stuffers for husbands the worst group of people to buy for am I right so the first thing I got for him were a pack of these bum bombas socks I think is how you say that I get ads for these all the time on Instagram and Facebook I don't know why they're targeting me but I had seen them so 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 much that I finally clicked on one and they were having like a Black Friday or Cyber Monday Cyber Week deal so I think they were 40% off or 30% off so I ended up buying a pack for my husband Apparently, every pack of these you buy, they donate a pack to people in need. And these are also supposed to be like really good socks. I've heard really good things about them. They have like a like a grip on the back, but it's not really grippy. I don't know. I can't explain it. That's supposed to keep them from sliding down. They're thick and they're supposed to just be like magical. He has a problem where he gets holes in his socks so fast. So I know this is such a typical mom thing to buy for stockings, but... My husband's getting bombas. <laughs> so this was actually sent to me in PR, but I think it's going to be perfect for my husband. So CEO Bigelow sent this over for review purposes, but it's their lemon line. So I used to work at Bath and Body Works actually, and I'm trying to open this. Um, they used to sell CEO Bigelow at Bath and Body Works when I worked there, and I was a huge fan, you guys. Their stuff is really good. They have a really good hand cream. So I figured I can put some of these in my husband's stocking. I know it's kind of like he doesn't care about toiletries, but I think it's pretty dang cool. So yeah, this is their lemon hand treatment. So it's kind of manly, right? It's not super girly. He does use hand cream. So oh, I thought there was going to be a seal on it, but there wasn't. Okay, well, let's clean this up because this is supposed to be a gift. It has a nice lemon scent. Like it's not a sweet lemon. It's not like a fabricated fake lemon. It's just a really nice, like fresh lemon. I feel like it's very gender neutral and I think my husband will really like it. I love their hand creams, so definitely like that. Um, there's also a body cream. I'll probably keep the body cream for myself. I don't know that my husband is really into body creams, but smells just like, you know, the lemon scent there. There's probably a seal on this. Yeah, there is. I will keep the body cream for myself, but I will definitely give him the hand cream. And then there's also a hand soap in there. So it's funny because I told you I was working at Bath and Body Works and at the time, all we sold was antibacterial hand soap. And of course, shortly after they took the antibacterial agent out of their hand soap, but Seal Bigelow was the only in-store brand that didn't have antibacterial agents in the hand soap. So people would come in specifically looking for this hand soap. So it's just kind of funny, like a full circle moment for me that it's sent to me. Um, but yeah, this smells just like the hand soap. So this is a cute little gift. I mean, this in general would be an excellent gift for anybody if you're looking for like a white elephant gift. Everybody's hands are so dry nowadays because of all the hand washing and the sanitizing we're doing. So this would be a really good gift, but I'm gonna throw these in my husband's stocking. But the next thing I got for him is a box of this liquid IV from Target. He's been talking non-stop about liquid IV, you guys. He heard it on Joe Rogan, he listens to that podcast. I. I don't even know. I'm not, I don't know what that podcast is about, but he's always referencing Joe Rogan. And apparently Joe Rogan was like promoting liquid IV. So anyways, he's said multiple times how much he wants to try this. So I picked up a box from Target. This stuff is expensive, like real expensive. The next thing for a stocking I picked up at Sir La Table. We were there getting his big Christmas present, which I don't 
want to spoil in case, well, if he's watching this, he's already spoiled his stocking. Anyways, I was there getting his bigger Christmas present and I saw this over by like the drink section. So this is a Darth Vader ice mold. He loves having like little cocktails in a glass. He has a couple of ice molds already, so I don't know how practical this is gonna be, if he's gonna use it all the time or not, but it's definitely a cute stocking stuffer. I was there with my best friend was in town visiting and her and her husband were there with me. And I asked her husband, I was like, is that cheesy or like do you think this is a good gift and he was like it's a good gift go ahead and get it so that's why I got it but it's one of those like silicone molds and apparently it like imprints Darth Vader's face on the ice so maybe he'll use it maybe he won't okay last thing for his stocking is from World Market like I said they have tons of like little tiny things of like so many like jams and jellies and honeys and nuts and snacks and I mean, just so many things, not just candy, but food in general. So they have a whole section of stocking stuffers. These two things are from that section, so I picked them up. He loves these Biscoff cookies. These are the cookies you get on airplanes, but he loves them. So I got him a little pack of that, and then these were just a last minute, like, oh, he'll probably like that. These are Jack Daniels Whiskey Praline Pecans. I hope that this gives you some ideas for your 15-month-olds or and or your husbands. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If I can link any of this stuff, I will link it down below for you. But happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and I'll talk to you next time.